The T821, or Sokimi Type 821, is an Italian submachine gun that was manufactured in the 1980s. In its design, it is similar to the Israeli Uzi submachine gun. Its total length is 600 mm, and fully loaded, it weighs in at 2.45 kg. It fires 9 by 90 mm parabellum rounds with a generous magazine capacity of 32 rounds. Compared to the other submachine guns, it has a slow rate of fire and fires fully automatic. Like all the other submachine guns, it gets a standard critical hit chance bonus. The damage generally varies due to the weapon level and rarity, but is one of the higher damage per second weapons due to the low fire rate. The optimal range is poor at 17 meters with no known maximum range. It fires at 550 rounds per minute, which is slower than most of the other submachine guns. Its recoil or stability is decent, around 39%. Its center speed or accuracy runs out at 30%. The reload is faster than most submachine guns and only takes 2.2 seconds to complete. The T821 has all the modification slots available to it. The recommended optic to use is the reflex sight, since it adds at least optimal range to your weapon. The magazine you want is an extended magazine with the added increased rate of fire and critical or weapon damage. For the underbarrel we'd recommend the angled grip with the added accuracy and stability. And for the muzzle, the muzzle brake is recommended with the added critical hit damage and chance. The superior and high end weapon variants allow the weapon to have two or three weapon talents. Here are the three we recommend. Adapt increases the critical hit chance by a percentage for 5 seconds after using a skill. Deadly increases the critical hit damage by 10 to 30%. And Destructive increases the armor destruction by a percentage. There are 4 variants, including the standard. Next to the standard, there is the Police T821. It has better accuracy at 40%, but overall it remains the same. There is also the Black Market TA-21. This variant is exactly the same as the standard version. And finally, there is the high-end Midas. It has a golden exterior and statistically remains the same as the standard. It does, however, get three weapon talents, which are Responsive, increases the damage by 13% when closer than 10 meters to the target. Self-Preserved, heals you for 3% of the damage dealt by a critical hit. And Vicious, increases critical hit chance by 13% when at full health. The recommended class is based around the DPS playstyle, just like most submachine guns. For your primary, equip the Midas with the recommended modifications. Back this up with the first wave M1A to create range effectiveness. The sidearm is the 586 Magnum, which serves as a powerful backup. The skills are based on raw damage and staying alive. The first aid with the overdose heals all allies within a small radius and may extend the target's health beyond normal ratings. The pulse with a recon pack sends out a recon pulse that marks hostiles and allies through walls and cover. And for your signature skill, the survivor link, which increases the damage resistance and speed for the user and their allies. To thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a rating. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. See you next time.